Okay, I wanted to show you guys how to write out your proportions and what I was looking for in this assignment since I won't be here. So, um, I did number one for you as a class so you could set it up. You don't have to necessarily do this, but one of the first things I did was I color-coded corresponding sides. I just think it makes it easier for a proportion. So we see 12 corresponds with 3 and 20 corresponds with X. Um, when I set it up, you can either do one of two ways. I have 12 and 3 um, together here, 12 on top, 3 in the bottom, or you can set it up with 12 across from 3. Either way, they have to be on one of those two spots. Then I have that equal to 20 over X. 20 has to go on top because it corresponds with the 12. Over here, I have 20 and then X on the bottom too. They have to correspond 3 with X because they're both from the same triangle. Following that way, there's two ways you can solve this. You can use the cross products method where you say 3 times 20, which is 60, and then divide by the only number left over, so 60 divided by 12 is 5. Or, what a lot of people do is they say, how can I go from 12 to 3 if you see a relationship? 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 20 divided by 4 is 5. You will get one point for a correct proportion and one point for your answer. We're going to correct this on Monday. Let's go through one more example.